Oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the episode Suplex Biddies, brought to you by our friends over at Couch Guy Sports. Hi, I'm on the movie screen. My name's Chris Jones. If you're watching us on YouTube, shout out you. If you're listening to us via audio, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, I'm sorry you won't get this joke, but brought to you here, Couch Guy Sports, Suplex Biddies, episode, I believe it's 61. I don't know. I've lost track of how many episodes we've done. Hunting and not here tonight, obviously, because I haven't been interrupted once, but I'm here with my other co-host, Diego Galvez. Diego. Hello. <laughs> we are something else tonight, boys. We are something else tonight. Make sure you guys are following us on Twitter at Suplex B. At Suplex Biddies. Uh, make sure you guys are following us. <clears throat> Keeping you updated in the wrestling world. This week we have a controversy we have to talk about. Vince McMahon stepping down as the CEO and chairman of the company. Stephanie McMahon obviously taking his place, you know. Feels right. Um, <laughs> out, of the, uh, out of the allegations of hush money, that Vince McMahon paid th- someone three million dollars after having an affair. So, oh, okay. Diego's back to the regular TV. There That's slam pig. Can I turn the dial for him? Yes. Make sure you use it like UHF. That way, it's black <laughs> and white. All right, Diego. What are your thoughts on the Vince McMahon alleged affair and him stepping down from the company? Honestly, I think this was a storyline brewing for years. Years and years and years and years at WWE, and finally somebody brought it up to light. Um, I think it's a little bit sketchy, and the fact that it comes at the heels of Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out of WWE and then not having any resolution to that issue whatsoever, uh, I think it's really weird. So, um, put two and two together, and it just sounds to me like this is a disaster waiting to happen. And who knows, maybe. <clears throat> maybe what we've been talking about all along of the potential of WWE being sold out to a new owner and potentially just going with a new swag that, that might just be happening this year, man. That might just be the case. Jones, whenever you have a second, please step to the stage. Yes. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, if you're in the audience, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, listen, it just makes more and more sense why these budget cuts happened. (laughs) Who would have thought that Vince McMahon doing all these budget cuts was so he could pay someone $3 million to hide his alleged affair? Shocking. Because guess what? You know what this sounds like? A work. It's a Vince McMahon work. Something he's written ten thousands of times. Listen, all I know is that's that's one expensive condom. Three million dollars just to wrap it before you tap it. Come on, man. Listen, I'm sitting here looking at myself. I'm looking at myself on this beautiful screen here, and I'm just in disbelief because I can't believe that this is happening realistically i really can't i can't believe that this is happening i'm flabbergasted i can't believe that vince mcmahon i can't believe hold on i can't believe we're one step closer from triple h being the head guy that's what i can't wait for because that's when ww creative is going to be through the roof and that's when ww creative is going to be at its best because you won't have all these faulty finishes or these dqs because triple h knows how to run a show and we saw it in the next years i can't wait to see what that wwe looks like with triple h at the helm but right now uh-huh. huh? <laughs> what's, what's, what's the future hold for wwe we'll have to wait and see i mean obviously we're still waiting we have money in the bank in a couple weeks Bye, bye, bye. We are still waiting on Cody Rhodes to come back. We're waiting on Roman to grace us with his presence. The fact that they've put the title put the title on Roman Reigns like that, and just have him have him go. Oh, I'm going to be a part time guy now. Look at me. I'm Roman Reigns. I'm a part time guy. It's just a bad look for that that company. So, yeah. I mean, listen, we got plenty more WWE stuff to talk about. Obviously, Sasha has been officially released, so she's gone. She's got a ninety day. Uh, no compete clause. So realistically, what do you think? Where do you think he could go? 
Well, with one eye closed, I can tell that Vince McMahon is going to be selling the company after these allegations. Look at me. I'm a bandit. I'm stealing the company from Vince McMahon. It's me. You look Amish like that. No, I don't. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> you look like the you look like the guy on the uh, on the Quaker brand oatmeal. <laughs> Don't say that. There you go, Rosie. There we go. Oh, there we go. Taking a dive in, baby. Oh wait, here we go. Three Ds. Yeah, this is the worst thing ever for this podcast. Is the fact that Diego and I figured out these filters. <laughs> yep, that's exactly right. So, I mean, listen, other WWE topics we can talk about here. Um, Obviously, you know, we have Bunny in the Bank coming up. Raw, we got to see Elias and Ezekiel in the same place, so that was kind of cool, you know. But, like, Friday Night SmackDown, you know, Brock Lesnar came back. Obviously, we're getting Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns at SummerSlam in the last man standings match. It's already been announced. Uh, John Cena is returning. 27th so technically next technically monday on raw mm-hmm. so maybe him and austin theory are going to get into it we're also not any any other wwe thoughts honestly it went from being a wrestling show to like the best telenovela there is in telemundo and I, i'm kind of fascinated by the plot twist i'm kind of lie to you listen i'm not gonna lie here i'm sitting here and I'm looking at everything that's happening. And realistically speaking, this is why you and I should not have a podcast together. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Exactly. I full heartedly agree with it. <laughs> I'm so glad that, that YouTube is going to see the light of day on this episode. Because you know what we've done in this episode, Diego? Nothing. Nothing. We've done nothing but talk about Vince McMahon. That's it. All we've done is talk about... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I don't know you could do that. (laughs) (laughs) That's hilarious. (laughs) My video. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there we are. All right, Chris Jones, Diego Galvez, you live in avatar form. Look at us. Whoa. Oh, milk. Man. This is probably by far the worst podcast we've ever recorded together. Yeah, a hundred percent. Hands down. Hands We're going to get fired See, from Couch Guys. Gentlemen, this is what happens when you decide that you, you are not around tonight for a wrestling podcast. You leave Diego and I to do this. And I can't believe the monstrosity that is this podcast right now, currently. Yeah. No. Like, like, let's be honest here. Hanuman, look at us. This is what you did. This is all your fault. I can't believe you allowed Diego and I to go on a podcast and do this when we're supposed to be talking about wrestling, but here we are as an avatar panda and an avatar dog. I feel bad for our listener. I do. I really do. I don't know what you're talking about, Willis. Listen, I, 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 has, has it been 15 minutes? I, I, I don't know. Cause I don't, I just don't know what to talk about anymore. I don't know either. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, well, you know, this is what WWE creative should be doing this way here. This is content. You're welcome. WWE. Fuck you, Vince McMahon. Fuck you, Steph. So with that Triple being H. said, that being said, make sure that you're following us on Twitter. We're going to be dropping our Forbidden Door predictions. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Because Forbidden Door is live on pay per view June 26th, which is Sunday. Ooh, Forbidden Door. So we're going to each put up prediction videos. So, with that being said, make sure you're following us on Twitter at Two Bucks Biddies. Hanuman, hopefully, we'll be back next week. Maybe we never will do a show ever again. Who knows? But from all of us here, Chris Jones, Diego Galvez signing off. Shout out to Couch Guy Sports. Shout out to Suplex Biddies. And we will see you guys maybe next week. I don't know. We'll see what the higher-ups think after this one. Yeah, if we don't get fired. Yeah. Peace. Peace.